Oh yeah, we got the beast back finally, you guys. She seems to be running great. So anyway, let's go record a video. Well, happy Valentine's Day, everybody. It's February 14th, 2022. And this is the calm before the storm video. I can't believe we're doing one of these. It's not gonna be much snow, but it still is a calm before the storm, so. So take that. <laughs> I'm so excited to do this video, oh my gosh. Oh man, hang on. All right. So we are expecting one to three inches tomorrow during the day, and then maybe an inch at nighttime. So if everything pans out, guys, we could get four inches out of this. And I mean, four inches compared to nothing is pretty significant. It's like 400% more inches than we've been getting. So I'll take it. We're gonna do a nice little drive around the lake just so you guys can get a sense of what Big Bear looks like before the storm with hardly any snow, or actually no snow, there's no snow really. But don't fret, you guys, the ski resorts, don't worry. <clears throat> They still make snow. The past couple nights haven't gotten down below freezing, so I don't know if they were making any snow, but uh, it's been below freezing pretty much every night except for the past three nights. So they make snow all the time, every night at least. So it's fresh conditions for you all. We're kind of going a little bit fast. I'm not used to my car. I've been driving that Jeep for almost a month. Yesterday went on a Harley ride down to uh, Cafe 247 with my friend who, who fixed my car. He owns Knight's Auto. So that was cool, that was fun. It was such a beautiful day yesterday. I didn't even have to wear my jacket at all. The only reason I wear my jacket anyway is, for, is just in case you crash. But I didn't even wear it yesterday. It wasn't too smart, but. It was a gorgeous day. You know, we'll take a little dive through the through the village. But it's 8, 10 in the morning right now. And yeah, we're gonna go in through the village. And just, as I said, drive around the lake real quick. We're not gonna do the whole valley because we'll probably do that when we get the snowstorm. But yeah, it was pretty strange. That was my friend Greg, he didn't see me. Um, yeah, the past couple days, well, as of yesterday, it started showing snow again, but prior to that, uh, a day or two prior to that, it didn't show anything. Before that, it did show possibly a little dusting of snow, but just a couple days ago, it was back down to less than like 18% chance, which is just such a bummer, because that typically means no chance. Anything under like 30% up here is pretty much no chance. So it was a bummer after I posted that that little uh, that forecast online for you guys like a week ago saying, hey, there's a chance. I kind of felt like an idiot again because it looked like it wasn't gonna happen. Then I thought, hey, par for the course. Total idiot. Yeah. So it should start tomorrow morning. I think the temperatures are gonna start off at about 38 to 40 degrees tomorrow and then drop pretty drastically as the day goes on. So we could be in the 20s by the afternoon. And we are in the village, it is dead. Well, it's eight in the morning, so I can't imagine why it wouldn't be dead. How are you guys doing? I hope you guys are having a good Valentine's Day. All of you are my Valentine. Guy or girl at this point. <laughs> you all are my Valentine. Happy, well, Valentine's Day. Wow, this hotel's pretty packed right now. I hope a bunch of people are up here, you know, experiencing their love and their relationships. Just having a good old time. I do apologize about this season, you guys. This has been horrible. It's been miserable, and I'm very sorry. Um, 
it's all my fault. It really is. I don't know what I did to make Mother Nature upset with me, but she definitely took something personally. And uh, I don't know, maybe because she likes seafood and I like steak and she wasn't too happy with the restaurant I took her to. Either way, she really doesn't, I mean, she's just ungrateful. You know, she's very ungrateful. I moved up here for her and she just decided to just give me this the big old zero today. So I'm a little bit disappointed. And I think the camera just went like blind for some reason. When I turned the camera on my face, the camera broke. So we had to reset it real quick. Sorry about that, you guys. But I'm glad it only took a few seconds. But yeah, Mother Nature, man. Not cool. I shouldn't be talking smack to her, though, because she, she's kind of going to be teasing us tomorrow a little bit. Man, I'm, I'm about to get really dirty, so I'll, I'll stop. <laughs> Here's a place to go sledding. I wonder if it's even open yet this time in the morning. I'm sure it probably would be. Why wouldn't they be? I don't see any cars in the parking lot, though. Oh, it's so nice having my car back, you guys. Holy moly. watching for a while when I hit the record button it feels like you guys are here with me and it's just such a, ma a marvelous feeling simply marvelous yes 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 and then I woke up today with a special donation from Lisa Elger so I hope it's Elger not Elger she sent me donations before what an angel but waking up to that was really nice because it's been a long time since I've gotten one so it was a nice surprise, and then also waking up seeing that it, that we could get four inches of snow at the same time that I saw her Venmo donation was awesome. So Lisa, my dear, I'll be making you a video a little bit later. Probably tomorrow, Ski. Or maybe after the snowfall, we'll see. Or maybe even before this video, I'll post that before. But either way, you are an angel, you are awesome. I appreciate it very much. I appreciate all of you very much. Look at look at how beautiful this place is. I mean, come on. I mean, come on. I've always wanted to live in that house right there just because it's got just, I don't know, it's just a big property. There's a lot of houses that I've wanted to live in up here, but I'm grateful for the one that I have. Those of you who know my my little place, ever since I moved here, I pay $550 a month for the place, which is just amazing. Like my cable and internet bill cost almost as much as the whole rent for the month. It's like $309 for my cable and internet bill. And if I get a home phone, it'll only cost like $5 more per month because they'll bundle everything together. But the only problem with the home phone is that if there is an emergency and the power goes out, then I don't have a home phone because it's hooked up to the internet. So I decided just that there's no point in that. But once I get my generator, it's the generator. See, we're getting more snow on, on this side of town, but it's, it's old snow and it's just ice. Um, once I get my generator, then I'll be able to hook up those things up like that, which will be pretty cool. Have a home phone and just stuff to be extra safe. Because where I live, it gets a little bit scary when it, get, when it gets really windy because uh, these trees cr crush these houses like pancakes. And they might not look that thick. And they're not that thick, but the inertia they get falling down, man, becomes pancakey. See, look at me making up words over here. I freaking miss you guys. Here, I'm gonna turn the camera on me again. Hopefully the camera doesn't die. I miss you guys a lot. Happy Valentine's Day. Ah, see, it didn't break. Not that time. Oh, those are the guys who pick up the trash along here, cool. They had a sticker that said, care for Big Bear. I like seeing that. So look, this is still a beautiful view right here. It looks like, you know, we still have a lot of snow, doesn't it? 
but this part of this little area just does not get a lot of direct sunlight because the forest is so thick right here and the mountain we're right on the side of the mountain so it might get like a couple minutes each day of direct sunlight but not consistently just on and off at least a month you guys usually this time of year we're going crazy with weather videos yesterday it got up to 60 degrees again as I said I didn't have to wear my jacket and we drove down to the desert obviously the desert's a little warmer than it is up here obviously 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 yes very nice and for the first time in a long time, <clears throat> my friend and I, we just cruised because usually I'm, I'm leading the way. And so I'm, I kind of drive like a bat out of hell on my motorcycle. And uh, it seems like the older I get, the less I want to do stuff like that because I want to enjoy them. I, I don't, I don't want to crash. Because if you, if you pop a tire going like 95 like we were going yesterday, then uh, it could be lights out. End of story. Cut scene complete movie over and we don't want that we don't want that at all well I'll tell you what guys when you have a Harley as nice as mine it's it's hard not to freaking fly some people tell me that well why don't you just get a street well I already have a street bike but why don't you get a fast street bike and because I don't want to die <laughs> because I know if I had like any street bike that's a 600 or up or higher than that I would definitely die there's no no question about it and being an idiot yesterday not wearing my protective gear like I should be obviously I wore my helmet of course and we're at the dam by the way guys I wore my helmet of course yesterday I wear it every day because that is the law they should make it a law where you have to wear leather jackets and stuff like that but the kind that protect you um even though I don't believe in regulations like that, but for something like that, I think it would be a good thing. Um, but yeah, I didn't wear my my leathers or anything like that, just my helmet. And uh, we were cruising at like 95 miles an hour for a little while on Highway 18. Uh, once we got down to the Mitsubishi plant, just that long straightaway right there. It was nice. If, at about 95 miles an hour, you guys, it really feels like you're not on any wheels anymore. It, it feels like you're flying. There's some scientific type of a thing. I can't articulate it, but there's something scientific when you hit like 92 miles per hour or 93 or something like that. A very specific number on the motorcycle and you stay at that speed. Um, it like transforms the feeling to, to more like you're actually flying, which is pretty damn cool. And as you guys know, who have known me for a while, my bike is probably the fastest Harley Davidson you can get because I, I put the biggest, best engine upgrades you can possibly put on an already fast Harley Davidson. I have a 2020 Harley Davidson Fat Boy with a 114, and only for special models will they make a 117. So they offer it in the 107 and the 114 engine, and I bought it in the 114 engine, and then I got what's called the Screaming Eagle Stage Four kit. There's one, two, three, and four. And the stage four kit basically makes it so the engine is like a one size bigger. So my engine is now a 117 with an exhaust system. I've got the, I bought aftermarket suspension when it's a 2020, as I said, you guys, it doesn't need aftermarket suspension like that. The thing hauls some, it's just smooth and hauls some serious ass anyway. But uh, yeah, I've got a really fast bike and it's a lot of fun. But being responsible is, is tough on that thing but yesterday we were responsible i know i should have been going 95 but we had at one point a, a car in front of us going the speed limit and we didn't pass and i thanked him when we got down there because he was driving in um for a, a little bit in, in front yesterday because i told him go ahead hoping that he wouldn't pass like that and he didn't um it was nice to not have to pass and not have to be impatient because it's not like we really had to be anywhere at a certain time but when you're on on the motorcycle you guys it's the most freedom that I've ever experienced in my entire life 
It really is. Like, I, I've always been afraid of riding motorcycles. I got my first motorcycle five years ago up here when my, my other car died. And I just couldn't afford to fix the car. And I couldn't afford a new car. And so desperate measures. And I decided to talk myself into getting a motorcycle knowing that my mom would be absolutely devastated that I did. Um, but I justified it by saying I'll only be riding it up here for work and stuff like that. And the gas mileage will be amazing. I won't have to worry about gas too much. Um, and they're not that expensive. For instance, my brand new street bike, I did a lot of research, you guys, and the dealership that I bought it from said that they'll match any price that I can find from another dealership nationwide. And so I did the research and I found one Instead of paying like $7,000 for my bike brand new, I paid $4,000 out the door. And, it, and, I, and I got my first loan ever from my bank uh, that I've ever gotten, my first loan. So that was cool, paid it off in one year. They gave me $3,000 of the $4,000. So I went down there with a thousand bucks and then they gave me a check for $4,000 for Riverside, or not, not Riverside, for Temecula Motorsports. And then I got my first motorcycle and my friend had to drive it all the way back up to Big Bear while I drove his truck because I didn't know how to ride. I failed my first test at the DMV so I decided to take this the training the CHP training course which is better to do anyway so you are safer. You're inevitably going to be safer doing it that way even though you're still more likely to die on the road than a, than, than someone in a in a in a cage. They call cars cage. We, we bikers call cars cages. So, uh, yeah, but back to the freedom. You guys, I'm, I'm telling you guys, for those of you who suffer like me with severe depression um, and just other issues like that, it's one of the most spectacular feelings you can get because you have to focus on the now. You have to be in the now. You have to be present. You have to be aware of everything right this second. You can't play any games. So it's forced meditation and I'm someone who's tried to meditate for years on and off and I can never do it properly. I get so distracted and I just can never do it. Um, and I get frustrated with myself, which is what they say, do not do. That's, that's the worst thing you can do is, is beat yourself up about it. But I have a hard time not beating myself up about it. And yeah, I, I can't focus like that. So on the motorcycle, what I recognized was it was a forced form of meditation. Once again, you have to be in the now. You have to be ready. You have to be thinking of right this second. Actually, you can't even think. You just have to just go and just do you in the moment. And it's pretty spectacular. Um, I was terrified, you guys. And I guess I'm trying to con convince you guys that are scared of, of, of motorcycles to, to consider getting one. Um, for the first year when I was feeling like extra down and out, I would hop on the bike and just go. I'll tell you what, even though it's a pain in the butt to put on all the gear, once you're actually out there riding, oh my gosh, it's just, words can't describe it. Those of you who ride know what I'm talking about. And you guys know that guy Tango from this channel, right? Um, you guys know him from the $1,600 donation about a month and a half ago or two months ago. He was going to come up here yesterday to go for the ride with my friend and I. And my, and my friend Dave Knight, he owns Knight's Automotive up here, guys. As I've told you guys real quick, um, if you ever need any car stuff done while, while you're up here, I trust him so much, you guys, that I would pay for your service if you feel like you got ripped off. That's how incredibly good this guy is he is such a good friend too like like the more we go riding together the closer we get um but anyway tango was was possibly gonna come up and go with us but he had gone he had flew to florida with his wife on on thursday god god bless her because uh her mom passed away a, a few months ago and so they're they're just kind of tightening up some loose ends out there and uh oh man so she she wasn't in the greatest spot and he being a wonderful man and a great husband obviously stayed there with her 
to support her. Um, so he let me know yesterday morning that he wasn't going to be able to make it. But that would have been pretty cool to have him up here cruising. So hopefully in the next couple weeks, if we still have some decent weather. Um, I'm hoping we don't have decent weather. <laughs> I'm hoping it gets nasty. But if we do, I'm going to convince him to come up here and go for a ride. And then we're going to go cruising. But yeah, guys, that's how you know Tango. He's the one who donated us $1,600. That was crazy. He's like, I'd like to pay two months of your rent. And then he gave me two American Express gift cards worth $175 each. And then he bought two of the beanies. Um, and he gave me 75 each instead of 70 for them. And I tried to offer him some extra beanies for free just because I couldn't believe that he donated so much money. I mean, guys, it was shocking to me beyond shocking just like it shocked all of you but he would not take anything extra and it's it's what an incredible guy this is the guy that most of us men want to be like everything he's been through everything he's experienced he is exactly the type of man that i always grew up wanting to be like but i'm too much of a coward and due to privacy of what he's been through in his life you know he doesn't really want me to share what he is and what he has done and I respect that also for me I'd be shouting it on the mountaintops like look at me I'm the coolest guy ever but uh yeah so um it's unfortunate he, he he didn't show up yesterday but as I said he was supporting his wife and I mean there's nothing better than that you guys god bless her I wish her strength through this through this time of just absolute just mental hell Anyway, real quick, back to the motorcycle thing, you guys. I really hope that uh, a lot of you consider getting a motorcycle. I got mine for the first time when I was 37 years old. As I said, I was terrified of them. Growing up, my friends all had dirt bikes and stuff like that, um, but I never went out with them because my parents wouldn't let me. No, that's not necessarily true. I just would always use that as an excuse because I was too scared. Um, but I know my mom does not want me on the bike. As a matter of fact, when we got down to the restaurant yesterday, I FaceTimed her on the bike and just to let her know that we're like one block away, I, I, I made it safe and then she like begged me to let her know the same way when I get back home. And when I FaceTime her, my camera's on its little phone holder. So I just have to push uh, FaceTime and I don't have to take my hands off the wheel or anything. I, 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 I wasn't even looking at the phone, you guys, but she could see me. So I'm watching the road the whole time. Um, and yeah, she's, she was just very, very, very thankful. When I got back home, that I had a few text messages from her saying how much she worries about me on the bike. And it just, it brings her so much joy knowing when I get to where I'm going safe. And uh, you know, I will always provide that for her. I love that lady so much. She's put up with so much from me, you guys. She's such an angel. God, I, I love you, Mom, so much. What a beautiful place this is. So anyway, hope you all are doing great today. Once again, happy Valentine's Day to everybody. I love you all very much. I miss doing these videos with you guys. I miss interacting with you guys as often as I'd like to. And I just want you guys to know, as always, I love you very much. And anything I can do for you guys, I will always do that for you guys. For those of you watching this far into the video, check it out. I've got something special. It'll, it'll only last another month and a half or so, but a friend of mine who is a manager at Snow Summit, he gave me three free passes to go skiing. And I'd like, since I'm not gonna use them, I'd like on, on his behalf to give them to you guys. So I don't know how to go about doing that. It'll save you way over a hundred bucks, you guys. So. Um, I don't know how to do that, how to, how to make it fair. Um, so if there's any suggestions for the one person watching the video all the way through, please let me know. Um, cause I, I'd like to do that for you guys. Cause I don't want them to go to waste and there's nobody better to give them to than you guys. Gosh, I would feel great to give them to you guys. So, <laughs> so we have three free passes and I think you can go to either mountain bear or snow summit. All right, cool, we're back at Stanfield Cutoff here, and we're gonna turn right and go across the lake here. We're at the very end of the lake. So, I'm just gonna roll down the windows a little bit 
so we can see. So we can see. Straight ahead is uh, Bear Mountain. And then to the right, right here, is Snow Summit. Okay, here's a beautiful lake view. All the way to the dam almost. All the way to the damn dam. To the John Claude Van Dam. And that's the Baldwin area. And that looks like a footprint in the sky. All right. It's so beautiful. It's 36 degrees right now. Just a gorgeous day. As I said, tonight it's going to start getting cloudy and then tomorrow morning we should start getting some snow showers. I'm very excited about that. Very excited. Very excited. Oh, lady, would you like to cross? No? Okay. Well then we're not going to, we're not going to let you cross if you're not going to cross. Every time I turn the wheel, I still hear a little bit of that issue I was having when the sway bar broke. Unfortunately, he didn't put on the extensions. He did something else, and he said he hopes that it holds. It's not really what I want him to hear, but I know he's doing the best he can, and he's doing the best for my situation. So I know he's doing the best he can. It's just I was expecting the sway bar extensions to be put on. Stay green. up. Oh, as soon as I said that, of course it's going to happen. Anyway, you guys, seriously, I really hope you guys are having a beautiful start to your day, and I hope it's full of peace and harmony, and just love, 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 love. You guys deserve so much love in your lives. I deserve love in my life. I just want you guys to be as happy as can be. And today is a good start to that. Valentine's Day. And then Lisa, like, I don't know if it was coordinated with Valentine's Day, but thank you for that $30 Venmo donation. Unbelievable, man. You guys know when to take care of me. You really do. You really do. You know, we're going to kind of take this little back road called Catalina into Moon Ridge just so we don't have to take the main Moon Ridge Road. And go through the neighborhood a little bit. And then, voila. Voila. Bada bing, bada boom. speeding we're going 26 well, we should have been going 25 so we're gonna slow down because there's little kitties in this neighborhood little kitties in this neighborhood I like how in these little slow down signs they have little flowers the little guys holding flowers it's so cute <clears throat> oh my goodness gracious great balls of fire I got the windows down, it's 34 degrees now. It's a little bit nippy. We're gonna turn on the heat for a moment. For, for a moment, we'll turn the heat, heat on. And it will be warm inside my car. For a moment, for a moment. <laughs> <coughs> So a recap, you guys, we got some snow coming tomorrow. It doesn't look like much, but we could get four inches of snow. So three inches in the morning, one to three inches. And then in the evening time, we could get an inch more. And we are at Moon Ridge Road, folks. All right, let's go, let's go, let's go. Thank you guys for hanging out with me this morning. Thank you guys for listening to me ramble on and 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 on I love you guys a lot I will talk to you guys later until then be well everybody the next video will be when it starts snowing if it starts snowing peace out February 14th happy Valentine's Day you guys I love you guys bye <laughs>